So finally, Arc browser has been launched for Windows to take on Google Chrome and Edge. Do you also believe in this statement? Let's find out in this video because in this video, I'm going to cover each and everything like how to use this Arc browser on your Windows and should you really switch from your current browser like using Chrome or Edge? Everything is going to be answered in this video. And I will also tell you what are the bad thing about this Arc browser. So first thing you need to download or install it. After installing, just open this Arc browser here. You will see here beautiful interface with the left side panel where you can see everything like pinned website or your space. A space, I will let you know what is this. After opening Arc browser, you will see here beautiful interface with the centered address bar where you can see your website. You can also do some other things like extension or picture in picture mode and sources, clear catch, killer cookies, manage extension, all sides. And you can directly copy link from here like this. So the company just move all the things or settings or tags in the left side panel you can reload from here go back and forward these icons you can see let me just tell you the best feature of this software is the spaces you can create multiple spaces inside that you can open your website or tabs and it is like a switching between apps as you can see i created two spaces here this is really really cool you can switch between by just uh, click on these dots you can use this shortcut key alt1 or alt2 and how you can create these spaces click on this add button or you can just click on arc icon and you will see here spaces create your new space here you need to name it like entertainment you can switch between profile like if you have multiple profiles the best part is you can choose the theme here choose the color and you can move your brightness from here whichever color you want you can set it click on this create a space let me explain each and everything here you can see here this is a pinned website like a gmail you can also move it to your tabs here or you can also move it to pin section so this is a pin section open any website in this tab so whenever you right click here you can create a new folder share a space rename a space or theme you can change the theme here you can turn entertainment into folder these are the spaces here you can move all the tabs of this space to other spaces also also. and if you want to delete your space you can just click on delete space if you want to clear all the tabs which is open in this space click on this clear section it will clear all the tabs here press ctrl shift plus t open this tab again you can interchange all these tabs here like this and if you want to move any tab to another space you can just click here move to favorite or home or if you want to add favorite just set it here or you can directly move it to on the top another thing is like uh, you can right click here and you can duplicate tab copy url move to favorite or rename mute next thing on the top right side you can see toggle sidebar so you can also press ctrl s to get the complete view on your screen another feature is like on the top right side the split view options you can split your screen in the same tab like add right split what do you want to open in your other split screen just type here google right click again add a split screen like a gmail so now you can see if you have big monitor it will be very very helpful for you main point is you need to know this feature is available and how to use and if you want to search anything you can just click on this top you will get here this kind of floating search bar okay so let's explore some settings here set arc as a default browser check update import arc from another browser new tab new window and the incognito window spaces as i explained tabs you can open new command new tab let's go into settings in settings you will see here minimal settings here like you can add new profile from here click on this game section and in game section you can set your search engine like google bing yahoo DuckDuckGo whatever you want to set can set it whenever you go into advanced search you will see here your arc autofill password privacy performance section appearance search engine so all things you can set it from here or if you want to reset setting you can just click here reset to default so many people are looking for like uh, can we switch it from your google chrome or edge or any other browser you are using yeah you can switch it but not completely because it is not faster because it is using swift programming language but other browsers using c++ which is really faster whenever you are opening any tabs or visiting any website it opens very slow so that's why people are not going to switch it but yeah you can use it at the same time even you are using chrome as you can see i am also having chrome on my windows 11 and i am also using arc because of its spaces spaces are really really good you can organize your tabs in different different spaces and this also give the complete view to view your web page you will see here very thin bezels and the corners and the first very bad thing is like it is only available for for Windows 11. That's a very wrong thing.
nothing from the browser company because most of the people using windows 10 right now what about them they are not going to use it yeah definitely you are not going to use it because if you install it it will say you it is only for windows 11 and the very bad part of this browser is like they are going to create an account for using this browser and this is really really annoying so these are the three main points which is very very bad from the browser company i think they have to focus on this so okay guys let me know your thoughts about this new browser on windows 